AI is everywhere these days, from the apps on your phone to the algorithms deciding what content you see online. But as we rely more on these powerful tools, we need to ask ourselves, are they treating everyone fairly? AI, or artificial intelligence, refers to computer systems designed to perform tasks that typically require human intelligence. These systems learn from vast amounts of data to make decisions and predictions. As we explain in one of the videos in this playlist, what is AI? But here's the catch. If the data used to train AI is biased, the AI itself can become biased. This is where racial bias in AI comes into play. It can creep in through biased training data, flawed algorithms, or even the unconscious biases of the developers themselves. Before we continue, subscribe to dive into the world of AI knowledge. Unfortunately, examples of racial bias in AI are all too common. Let's look at a few. 1. Facial recognition. A study by the MIT Media Lab found that facial recognition systems had much higher error rates for darker-skinned individuals, especially women. This means these systems are less accurate and potentially harmful when used in law enforcement or security applications. 2. Hiring algorithms. Amazon had to scrap an AI hiring tool because it showed a clear bias against women and minorities. The system had learned to prefer male candidates based on historical hiring data, perpetuating existing workplace inequalities. So, why does this happen? There are several key factors. 1. Data bias. Remember, AI learns from data. If that data reflects historical biases or doesn't represent all groups equally, the AI will learn and perpetuate those biases. 2. Lack of diversity in development. The tech industry, particularly in AI development, lacks diversity. When teams aren't diverse, it's harder to spot and address potential biases in the systems they create. 3. Feedback loops. Once deployed, biased AI systems can create feedback loops that reinforce and amplify existing biases, making the problem worse over time. This isn't just a problem for developers or policymakers. It's something that affects all of us. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button and write in the comments what you think about AI and racism.